Happy Thursday morning, purples. <laughs> uh, I'm playing hooky from work today uh, because I'm a part of a permaculture meetup group online and we got an invite a couple of weeks ago to go to a muscadine tasting that's gonna be in Carrier, Mississippi at NSU, which I guess is some sort of college. And um, they're gonna have a couple of talks and we're gonna get to walk around they're going to show us about 30 different varieties, I think it said, of different muscadines. And we'll get to taste a bunch of them. And you get to go home with a gallon size Ziploc bag of your own muscadines. And it's all free. How can you beat it? <laughs> so I'm that one way there. And um, I figured I'd, I'd I guess, <clears throat> video it or something and give it to my monkey so she can stick it online for you guys and I can uh, keep showing y'all stuff throughout the day of like how it goes and stuff and maybe some uh, on tape tastings or something I don't know we'll see all right it's a gorgeous drive today All right, um, I'm on my way home from the Muscadine event. Uh, I took a, a, a route that I've never, that I'm aware of taken before, at least not as like a, an adult or anything. I know I haven't. Um, under most circumstances, uh, travel would happen on interstates around here, but instead I opted to just go north instead and go through Franklinton and Bogalusa and uh which i'm kind of low-key in love with bogalusa super adorable place I, I don't know what it is about it but it's almost like one of those country places that everybody seems super happy and they have like pretty little gardens outside but it's not like this perfection sort of garden place it's more like you know they just have been there for a long time and so they just are trying to make it pretty or something i don't know how to explain it anyway it's like super 1950s ish with all of the different kinds of houses and stuff that are in it and they're really cool looking. There was an antique store that I saw on the way in that I was wanting to stop in the way back but they ended up being closed so I didn't but that's alright. Um, the Muscadine event was pretty cool. Um, the talk that they had in the beginning was kind of slow and boring and um, really the only thing that I learned about muscadines that I felt useful to myself were that they have male and female strains and that you have to have one of each or they also have the ones that are both male and female and they can self impregnate I suppose I don't know or self pollinate I should say and produce fruit without help of anyone else and the females can also get uh, fertile um, pollinated from the dual sex variety as well so if you get some duels and some females, then you definitely get some fruit. Um, I've got a bunch of wild muscadine vines all over in the brush around my house. And there's only one of them that I've found so far that actually has fruit on it, which I tried um, a couple of days ago, but I don't think they were 100% ripe yet. They were sort of a darker reddish purple color on one side, but the other side was still green. So I probably should have let them sit a while longer before I picked them, but that's all right. I think I have a couple more on there and I'll see what happens, but they had over 30 varieties um, that they gave you a, a gallon size Ziploc bag and you could go up and down four rows that they had uh, accessible to the public 
that we were able to just taste as much as we wanted and then pick a gallon size container. I probably ate, I don't know, maybe like a gallon and a half to two gallons, just like trying them all. And uh, you kind of like find that they have small ones and big ones and they have juicy ones and they have fibrous ones and they have sour ones and sweet ones and um, seeded and non-seeded and the and red ones or like a gold and yellow ones or kind of greenish yellow too I guess but uh, apparently the more acidic ones or the tart ones are better for making wine uh, and the sweeter ones are good for just eating raw and jellies and jams and all that kind of fun stuff and juice. Um, I found one that, well, my, my plan was to go up and down all four rows that we had access to. I went between one and two and did both one and two at the same time. Then I went between three and four and this, those two at the same time just to kind of, I don't know, not have to walk around as much. But my plan was still to go through the whole you know, for 100 yard, I think, uh, was it 100 yards or 100 feet? It was pretty, it was pretty long, pretty long rows. Uh, I planned on going through them twice anyway, cause I wanted to try all of them first and then go back the second time and actually pick the ones that I thought were like the best. Um, but I kind of quickly realized that there was only a couple of them that really weren't too, too much like to my taste um, so I I picked I started picking and my bag just wasn't getting full and I kept picking and pecking and pecking and I was like oh my gosh came around the second time I ended up finding one that I was like absolutely in love with um, so I probably picked about a quarter gallon of that one alone so the whole top of the bag is like that stuff it's so good I eat so many that my tongue is sore from the acid in the, in the fruit. <laughs> so where I did initially think that I was going to fill the bag up and then have to stop myself from eating too many and uh, allowing Sonya to have as much as she wanted, I'm kind of thinking I, I, that's not going to be hard <laughs> because I'm kind of uh, muscadined out a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind by the time it comes to it, but we'll see. Uh, but so that was my trip. Uh, I took a couple of pictures. I didn't take any videos or anything, um, but I did take a couple of pictures that Sonya, I guess, can put onto the video. And I plan to take a couple of pictures or a video or something of my harvest my gallon size bag and uh, also maybe like like I said I'll, I'll maybe see if Sonya wants me to tape her reaction when she eats a couple and I'll see if I can't remember maybe what they were like while I describe them to her I was also thinking like if I only like three varieties I'll write down what those three varieties are and then I'll know which ones are the most awesome ones but there were so many that were good and I just started picking I was like forget it like, I'm just gonna let this be a smorgasbord of I don't know what it is and uh, enjoy them. So that's what we're gonna do. Look how gorgeous this drive is. The sky is absolutely perfect.